Hello everybody, my name is Marty, short for Smarty Reads, and welcome back. Today I'm going to read the extras of Happy New Year, Mallory. Before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Also, share this video with your friends and family so they can watch me read as well. Other than that, let's begin. A special scrapbook. Marianne made a super special scrapbook of me for our winter reunion. Here are some of my favorite things in it. A picture of me with my appendix and Corinne and Marianne and Taylor when they all arrived. And then there's a picture of Mallory, Corinne, Marianne, and Taylor. A picture of me without my appendix on the couch on New Year's Day. There's Mallory. A picture of Murphy, Cheeseburger, and Champ on New Year's Day. And there's Murphy, Cheeseburger, and Champ. But la and last, but definitely not least, a picture of me with all my friends wearing our friendship necklaces. And then there's Taylor, Marianne, no, Mallory, Corinne, and Marianne. Marianne says we look cute, 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 cute. That's one cute for each girl. Pictures aren't the only thing Marianne put in my scrapbook. She put in some recipes, too. Taylor's amazing chocolate milkshake. Three scoops of chocolate ice cream. One big squeeze of chocolate syrup, one half cup of milk, whipped cream. In blender, combine ice cream, syrup, and milk, and blend until smoothly. Pour into tall glass and top with whipped cream. Sip and say, mmm. Corinne's chicken noodle soup. For an amazing bowl of soup, follow these six simple steps. Step one, open a can of chicken noodle soup. Step number two, heat according to the directions on the package. Step number three, pour soup into a bowl. Step four, place bowl on a tray with napkin and a spoon. Step five, add crackers and your favorite beverage. Apple juice works well. Step six, eat up and enjoy. Even though looking at these pictures and reading these recipes makes me a little sad that our winter reunion is over, I love having it and I think it was really nice of Marianne to make this scrapbook for me. And the good news is, it will really come in handy. I, I won't to, I won't see Corinne and Taylor until camp starts next summer, which is in exactly five months, three weeks, two days, and I'm not sure how, how many hours and minutes. But until then, at least I have a scrapbook to look at that's filled with lots of happy memories. Mallory's Inbox now that the reunion is over and Mar Grandma and my friends are gone, there isn't much excitement at my house. At least I have a full inbox. I am you. I miss you. Corinne loves green to Malgal. Mallory, thank you so much for planning such a great winter reunion. It was so much fun, even though we didn't get to see you as much as we wanted to. I wish your appendix had picked a different time, or better yet, no time to me to come out. I hope you're feeling much better. Love, Corinne. Subject, next summer, from Taylor Talks to Malgal Chatterbox, Corinne Loves Green, Mallory, Marianne, and Corinne. I'm so, so, so sad that our winter reunion is over. But guess what? It got me so, so, so excited for next summer at Camp Blue Lake. I can't believe we have to wait almost six whole months to be together again. I'll be counting the days, weeks, and minutes. I miss you already. Loads of love, Taylor. P.S. Mallory, tell Cheeseburger that I missed her too. Subject, going back to school from Chat Chatterbox and Board Boy to Malgal. Mallory, we can't believe winter break is over and the snow has melted and tomorrow we, we go back to school. There's only one thing we have to say about that. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Actually, that was three things, but we felt like saying it. See you in the morning on the way to school. Marianne and Joey. P.S. Hey, Mallory, it's Joey. I bet you can tell that Marianne wrote most of this email. Subject, I'm proud of you. From Max and Mallory's dad to Malgal. Mallory, I know it's a little unusual for me to send you an email, but I thought you might like getting one from your dad. I wanted to tell you how proud of you, I am of you make, of, for making the best of a bad situation. I know it was no fun having your appendix out especially when you were supposed to be f having fun with your friends. But you said it best. You turned a lemon into a lemonade. That's my girl. I love you, Dad. An email from Mallory. Subject. Starting a new year. From Malgal. 
to anyone reading this letter, and that includes you. I just wanted to say Happy New Year. You never know what's going to happen when you start something new, especially something big like a year. I hope everything that happens to you this year is great. And if not, I hope you can find a okay, wheel of, a okay way of dealing with it. I mean, if you want to do something special to kick off your year, you can try doing what I did and make a resolution to make things as great as you can and make them, no matter what happens. If you don't want to do that, well, I'm sure you can think up something of your own. There are lots of good ways to start a new year. I can't believe I'm leaving behind a whole year, and in case, and in my case, an appendix too, and starting a new one. When I'm done with this email, I'm going straight to the wish pond on my street and making a wish that there will be lots of fun things to look forward to this year, and hopefully some surprises, the good kind too. I'm. I'm going to make the same wish for you. Happy New Year and big, huge hugs and kisses. Mallory. That's the end of that chapter. Uh, or that's the end of the extras. I'll see you next time when I read a new book. Bye, everyone.